high. In many cases, we need to prevent duplication of an event on the same date or time. Something like if you try to book a room which is already booked in, in, on a date, the system is supposed to decline your request. Uh, or if you try to assign a staff member to a task while he is assigned to another task on the same date, the system is supposed to refuse your action. In, in this very simple example, if I try to assign a staff member, let's say uh, Roger, on 21st of February, so data saved successfully. If I try to assign him again on the exact same date, the system will refuse, will decline my request and data will be erased. So actually he is assigned only once. So the, the second assign was refused by the system. Uh, I will create another task table and another form just to explain how we can using VBE code tell the access to refuse the application of an event on the same date or time. So I'm going to create a table design. This table starts with ID, which is just an auto number, and this one is the primary key. Then I have the staff member, which is a lookup wizard. It will come from another table, from the HR table. I will take the ID and the name, and ID is a primary key, so it's supposed to be hidden. If I need to display it, I, I'll check hide key column. Of course, I need to enforce data integrity between the two tables. Finish. Then we will have task date, which is the date and time. Now I will create a calculated field, which will use the stuff ID with the date to create a new value, let's say ID. This new value I would use to prevent the application. So I'm going to take the staff member, add it to the date. By default, the system, when I save, will take the data type to be date and time. I will change this one to be double. So every time I'm going to assign a staff member with a specific date, a unique ID will be created using the ID and the date. So if I tell the access this field cannot be duplicated, it means the staff member cannot be assigned twice on the same date. Of course, I can do this using unique if the field is any uh, other type rather than calculated because calculated has not uh, index option. So I'm going to type a VBA code, Visual Basic for Application code, to do this consideration. So I'm going to create a form wizard using task2. ID is just an auto number, so I'm going to hide it from the design. I don't need to be displayed. This one is a calculated field, so it is not enabled because it will come automatically every time the user assign a staff member okay in this form i will add if i I'm supposed to hide all the navigation button i add my own buttons but we are going to add only one button which is the save uh, button this button will uh, examine the table the task two table and try to find if the staff member is already assigned on the same date so it will decline the new assign uh, otherwise it will accept uh, the record so event on click so i'm going to name a variable let's say uh, x as integer x is equal to d count So I will count the ID from the table task is two. My condition is uh, has two parts. One of the part is a static, which is the ID from the table, and the other part is dynamic coming from the form. So I'm going another to quote and me 
dot the ID and to quote another to quote close the brackets uh, just to make sure the statement is correct I'm going to message box X so this button if I try to assign a staff member Edward it's assigned 29 this is the first assign of Edward so the result for X is 0 uh, if I try to assign Edward again the result will be 1 which it means Edward is already assigned on uh, 29 of uh, February so instead of message box X I will check if X is greater than 0 so if X is greater than 0 it means this staff member is assigned on that date so I will message a box that the staff member then I'm going to erase the record so me dot undo then I will exit sub and don't forget to end F so every time if I try to assign Edward again so Edward is already assigned but if I assign a new one let's say George 29 February okay it is done so if George is not assigned on that date it means X is not greater than 0 so in this case I will save the record then I will message box that all data has been saved then I will go to a new record record go to new so if I try to assign uh, Lisa uh, in 29 is the first time so all that has been saved if I try to assign Lisa again on that date the system will uh, refuse because Lisa is already assigned on that date 